they end up worshipping something something else. Now, I will revisit the issue of worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because it's a bit complicated. Uh, not that it's complicated in itself, but just our approach to it needs some introductions. I'll move on to the second uh, pillar of faith that I talked about, which was uh, belief in the last day. Now, this is one of the most powerful aspects in our faith that can bring you imme immediate change spontaneously can actually on the spot can change your life now we think the way human beings think we think that we have abstract concepts that we think about but the, re the reality is not so each thought in our minds has an extension have you ever seen uh, like a, a computer program that has no extension has anyone seen a computer file without an extension each file has an extension, yeah? It's either .com or .exe or whatever it is, yes? Each file has an extension. Now, each thought in your mind has an extension. And that extension is time. We think in terms of time, but because, we, because it's very natural, we don't realize. We don't realize. Now, we think based on time. Each thought in your brain has an extension that has to do, do with time, with your time frame with your time horizon and time your time frame or your time horizon has a powerful impact on the way you see things and the way you behave I give you one example from the Quran the magicians of Fir'aun yes they worshipped who was their God the one they worshipped Fir'aun they worshipped Fir'aun and he used to say to them Ana Rabbukum al -a'la. I am your highest Lord I'm your God so worship me now, when Musa came and challenged him and brought him signs from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, miracles, Fir'aun said, I shall bring you greater miracles. So he brought the magicians. Now the magicians, what type of people were these magicians? They were the worst people in the society. Why? Why? Because the end to them justified the means. The end justified the means. They could do anything and they would do anything to get what they wanted. So when Fir'aun told them, we have this guy, we want to get rid of him, they said to him, we'll do whatever you want. What were their conditions? One condition. They said, لَأَجْرًا إِن كُنَّا نَحْنُ الْغَالِبِينَ Are we going to get reward? We will, will we be uh, rewarded, given money? Fir'aun knows exactly what type of people he's dealing with. He said, yes. وَإِنَّكُمْ إِذَا لَمِنَ الْمُقَرَّبِينَ And I shall give you also social status. So you will be among the elite of the society. He knows what type of people he's dealing with. Whatever he wanted, they could do it for him as long as he gives them money. And there are many people in this world who would do whatever it takes to just achieve a personal goal, even if they destroy other people's lives. Now the magicians were the same type of people. Now they came, 